first step before you start testing is to remove the negative battery cables off both batteries. And then you need to remove the intercooler tube that's covering the valve cover. And you can see there's a glow plug harness there. And then the glow plug modules down below. And there's two connectors on the passenger driver's side and there's a zip tie on there we need to investigate. But you need to remove that electrical connection first. Once the electrical connection is disconnected, there is two 10 mil nuts to remove. Remove those nuts and pull the module away. You don't have to, but I need to investigate why that zip tie is on there. On the one plug, you can clearly see the waterproofing seal is busted. So I got my multimeter hooked up to the negative post on the battery, a sensitive one, and there is no resistance on glow plug number five. Testing another one, I got 0.5 in spec. I got the harness out. Going to glow plug number five, continuity is there. In order to remove the glow plug harness or access to glow plugs on the passenger side, you need to remove the inner fender well. Uh, it takes a few extra minutes. Now I got a resistance of 0.2 directly on the glow plug number seven. Just verifying a test and then glow plug number five, no continuity at all on glow plug number five, signaling that it's bad. I removed the glow plug, doing a test right now, verified glow plug is indeed bad.